Hey there, everyone. It's that time again where we say goodbye to the current Fortnite season and welcome in a new one. Chapter 2 Season 4 so far has been a big one. Tons of Marvel characters, POIs, Easter eggs, and goodies for us to enjoy. With the big Galactus event happening December 1st at 4pm EST, things are about to shake up. Like, a lot. Donald Mustard has continuously hyped up the end of the season, stating it's the biggest event ever. But after the dust settles, what will Season 5 have in store for us? We've nabbed as much information as we can about the upcoming season. So grab your popcorn, people, because in today's video, we'll be discussing Season 5 leaks, rumors, ideas, and competitions. But before we do, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. Oh, and use code NEWSCAPE PRO in the item shop. This is NEWSCAPE GAMES, your source for Fortnite news, leaks, and theories. The Event Like any Fortnite season, the closer we get, the more leaks spill through the cracks. While Epic has tried their best to avoid disclosing any information about Season 5, here's what we know so far. For one, like we stated in the intro, the event is going to be massive. Epic has all but confirmed players will be driving the battle bus during the final event. We know this because of the Galactus artwork posted on their official Twitter. In it, multiple battle buses can be seen escaping Galactus. It also features the caption, Think we've got enough gamma cells? Which leads us to believe they won't just be normal sized buses. Instead, using She-Hulk's gamma radiation, they will grow in size and strength. If this is true, this thing is going to be crazy. And that's not the only craziness we've learned about. We've also received information about Fortnite Crew, a new subscription service by Epic. For $12 a month, you'll receive 1,000 V-Bucks and a monthly crew pack. Oh, and you'll get the battle pass. If you're an avid Fortnite fan, this might just be the service for you. Second, like we stated in the intro, this event is going to be massive. We know this primarily through in-game files. Let me explain. Obviously, when Epic updates Fortnite, they modify or add new things into the game. In a recent update, two encrypted packs were uploaded. It's theorized that they are both the final event. If this is true, these are more than double the size of past events, even the end. Beyond this, Fortnite now compresses their game files, which means it will be significantly larger than anything ever seen within the game. Because of this, we think it's safe to say the map is going to get messed up. We might just see POIs destroyed and new ones added, but here at Newscape Games, we think it'll be more impactful. Heck, if the file size is larger than the literal map being sucked out of existence, it's safe to say we're going to get a radically different map after the event. If not that, then some crazy stuff is about to happen to the island. Agent Jonesy Less than a month ago, we received some leaked information that could very well mean something huge. As we learned at the end of Season 2, the world of Fortnite exists beyond just the scope of the island, and even the entire planet. And no, we don't just mean the multiverse, like the inclusion of DC, Marvel, and Star Wars characters. Instead, we mean the reality beyond that. We're referring to the mysterious office setting seen during the device event. Clearly, this place is studying Fortnite Island, since they reference the loop and can manipulate the storm. According to iFireMonkey, a Fortnite leaker on Twitter, a source has stated a new recording session took place recently with Troy Baker. If you don't know it already, you have most likely played multiple games that feature him as a voice actor. Seriously, go look at his IMDB. This dude works. It just so happens he also voices Agent John Jones, or the suited up Jonesy we saw in the office. This most likely means the end season event won't just focus on Galactus, but also the storyline of the meta universe of Fortnite. Will we see the end of the loop? The end of Battle Royale as we know it? It's hard to say as of now, but something is for sure. This event transcends just the island and Galactus. 
Beyond that, the leak also stated that a Fortnite announcement is coming December 10th at the Game Awards. As to what it is, we're not sure. What we do know is that Season 5 will already be underway, so we figure it probably won't be in relation to the storyline of the season. Instead, we believe they will either announce Fortnite characters in Super Smash Bros, or the game migrating to Unreal Engine 5. Season 5's Theme The rumor mill is swirling as to what next season's theme will be. While many believe it'll be another season of Marvel, we have reason to believe this will not be the case. We're referring to a recent leak, which showed off three skins of Season 5. To the left and right are original Fortnite designs. They look pretty cool, too. The one on the left seems to be some sort of futuristic soldier. The right, uh, a flapjack cowboy? Whatever they are, we like them. The character in the middle, though, that's who we are really interested in. It's Din Djarin from the Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian. In our opinion, these skins prove season five will not be Marvel themed. Although we guess it still could be a possibility. Having the Mandalorian as the secret skin would seem like an odd choice in a season that is supposed to be dedicated to Marvel. We believe this means it will be similar to Season X and Season 5. The next season of the game will follow a Worlds Collide approach. Since Donald Mustard has stated this is not the end of Marvel in the Fortnite universe, we imagine this next season will go full crossover, just in a different way than Season 4. We're talking more Marvel, more DC, and more Star Wars skins in the item shop. Maybe Galactus will cause a major disruption to reality itself, transporting characters from other universes to the island. From there, these characters will have to settle their differences, team up, and stabilize reality together. Competition, competition, competition. One thing is known for sure about Season 5. It'll be chock full of chances to win some dough. As Epic has proven, they want their game to be a top eSport. Next season will be no different. Here's what we know about the Fortnite tournament's plan so far. According to iFireMonkey, Firstly, we have the Bungra Boogie Cup, a solo competition for Android users. Winners will receive the new 8T cell phone, the new flagship device by OnePlus. Players will also have the chance of unlocking a new emo, spray, and lobby track. So if you're a Fortnite mobile player and you want to get your hands on the only cell phone that can play the game at 90 FPS, go sign up today. Next up, we have the DreamHack Duos Tournament. Dates as follows. Introductory rounds will be December 9th for North America West and December 16th for North America East. Semifinals will take place the next day. The 10th for West, 17th for East. I know what you're thinking. Epic really doesn't mess around when it comes to esports. This is some serious money. There's also the King Duos Cup, named after the popular Argentinian streamer. Little is known about this tournament, other than the top 500 duos will move on to round 2, and the top 50 after that moving on to round 3. Whatever the case, knowing Epic, the prize will be something special. Are you excited for next season's competitions? Do you plan to enter any? Tell us down below in a comment. Our theories. For this next section, we're going to discuss what we think the next season is going to be. Remember though, people, this is pure speculation. Obviously, we have some leaks indicating what season five will be like, but a lot of gaps still need to be filled. In our opinion, we believe the map will see a major facelift. While it won't be a literal new map, like the jump from chapter 1 to 2, it will be almost unrecognizable from the island we currently know. Rift Beacons played a large part in Season 4, and we think that trend will continue during the event, meaning a lot of things could be deleted and added onto the map. Second, we believe Season 5 will include more crossovers than ever before. Epic will not commit to just one property either. Instead, it will include characters ranging from movies, TV, and other video games. Third and definitely our most wild theory, Chapter 2 Season 5 will introduce first person into the game. Stick with us on this one. While it may just be a rotating LTM, we believe this could be what the developers mean by game changing, since it would literally change the game. 
They've already tested it before in the mysterious office, and we know John Jones is returning, maybe in an attempt to restore the island. The code is bugged, resulting in a new, first-person POV. Okay, we admit that's a crazy theory, but maybe? One can dream at least. Okay everyone, that's all we got. Although a lot is still unknown, we do know that this one is going to be nuts. Season 5 is going to be a big one, and we cannot wait for it. Will we learn more of the mysterious office? Will Galactus consume the island? I guess we'll have to wait and see. What do you think of Season 5? Are you excited for the new Mandalorian skin? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. This has been Newscape Games, your source for Fortnite news, leaks, and theories. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.